we've had enough. So this beautiful ABBA, which needs paint, which is done. How many miles on the clock? This is the nicest ABBA I've ever been in. Yeah, the nicest ABBA he's ever been in. It's done 20 miles last time I looked in it. Look at the paint. So we are going to do... Better to use a brush and wiggle it in all the little bits. It's chugging along like steam trains. It's coming along beautifully. And you, you know, you leave that off left over and then you paint up to there and then you leave it and let it dry and you carry on. The next job is to take those front light guards off and I might even take that whole chunk off, this chunk here. I may even take all that off because um, they're soon off. The trick now is to undo these ones, these ones along the top and then uh, down here. I don't to bugger off now and um, put me little boy to bed have a bit to eat and I'll come out about 10 11 o'clock well, it's always a bit of a milestone when you start greening areas up I mean by no means have I painted the whole tank in red oxide yet but what would be really nice would be to give this two coats of green and um, just a matter of stippling it on there so as it doesn't run well, that is definitely enough for tonight. I can maybe get the exhaust done with the uh, the lads tomorrow. And that should New be... New Year's Day, and it's half past ten. Now, I did expect to come out last night, but I guess it was New Year's Eve, and you can get distracted from the job, can't you? Just a little bit. So, um, the game is... I don't remember that being moved, actually. Tricky bits, all the little tiny nagery bits. Get well, right it's in. a stupid clock and I thought I'd run out and put a bit more green on. But uh, it ain't gonna happen, not tonight. What's happened? A lot of needle gun in, it's not bad on your hands, it makes your hair fall out. That's not going to leak. <laughs> <laughs> a little hack for you. When you're using a needle gun, get one of these puppies and you can wind the power up and down. And when you're doing something fragile, like that meshing on the side, or even the braided cables for the lights and the electrics, you can wind it down. So it just chips the paint off, but it doesn't bugger it up. It's going to be a beauty. This is a bit of a bugger, it's got a dent there. Now what I'll probably do is I'll grind three little bits and weld some bits on. I'll use my slide hammer and try and pull that out. Um, I love filler, but one, you can have a lump there and you can have a lump there. It's you know you want to come out needle gunning, don't you? No. Yes, you do. No. Oh, yes, you do. I well, know you do. No. I know you do. No. You're dead keen. No. You're a very good little needle gunner. I knew she wanted to, really. She loves a bit of needle gunning. Sometimes I do her toenails with that and give them a coat of chassis black. Yeah,
Look, look at that, look. Look at all the painting I've got done tonight. It was massive. Real, real proper, proper job. And um, I've also managed to spray around the headlights and things so I can put the headlight box on tomorrow and probably the headlight guards. So all I've got is the needle gun underneath the front there. Needle gun that top deck area. Get the commander's hatch working really smooth. Um, now, is it just me or is it sitting on a barrel like that? Kind of a gay thing. If it was facing the other way, it wouldn't be gay. But sort of, it, it maybe just be me. Could be me. What do you reckon, Mike? Is that a gay thing sitting on a barrel with a round way round? You know, it's something it's strange, isn't it? It's is something, yeah. something going on. You see that that kind of grinding and holes burnt. That's where they gas axed off the towing eyes when they used to go at 45 degrees. Then they made them into horizontal ones. Well, sorry, vertical ones. And I think that's ugly. So I'm going to uh, actually clean that up, give it to this mechanism on the commander's hatch apart. And um, they often seize up. And normally you can take the top off and you can take this piece here out and um, one way or another, clean it all up and pack it with grease and it'll be beautiful again. Um, it's not damaged, it's just lack of use. Um, it's only done 20 miles. How often is the commander's hatch been open? Well, it's all turned out pretty well. I've uh, pulled it apart and it was really, really precision, which is no good on tanks, things that sit around for months. So I've ground a little bit on the inside, just using a cutting disc, so as it goes on a little bit looser, just a little bit. And then I can pack that with grease. There's a big spring under there and that one's absolutely poking full of grease, so damp never gets in there again. And uh, fingers crossed. All done, that's all got to be, I'll probably spray the barrel. But everything else I'm hand painting and then spraying. But um, I don't want brush marks on my barrel. There's a nice proof mark on there. But uh, yeah. Yes, dun, 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 Takes a long while, but it's the only way. I would like to have sandblasted, but I don't want the mess at the moment. This one here is in. Uh, what are you doing, boys? In a metal finishing. Is that the one you use on your toenails? Yeah. This is the new one, the old one, bro. Oh, look at that, look. So there you go. You've got to get your aluminium bin box. It's beautiful. Well, my job today, and it probably be all day, is painting. And I've got this little dinky brush with stiff brushes and then a great big floppy brush for flopping it on. And the idea is to do that whole thing perfectly. Two coats of green. And then fluff it down and give it the spray job. But I know that if I do it in two coats there and I'm covered... Oh, that's a bit of a milestone when you put your front headlight canopy back on the front of the Abbott. How cool is that? Uh, remember some of those bolts are shorter than others, the ones going in the back end. Good, 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 good. Well, that looked pretty cleaned off. Not much paint left on that. And we ended up taking the whole hatches off. They're aluminium, so we'll do them. Top's coming on. Well, night shift are gone, and hopefully they've prepared lots for me to paint. Um, weather's gonna change tomorrow, and um, it's gonna warm up after a cold night, and that means condensation, so I've got a problem. Um, well, looks like they've been nice and busy. That last area to do is looking pretty sharp, pretty clean. Um, I'm going to go over it with sandpaper again and then blow it off with the airline and then um, spray the aluminium. A little bit of tickly tickly. What I do tonight, we can fit tomorrow. It's not about how much work you do really, although that is important. It's um, being prepared for the following day. I don't think I've ever known an Abbott where the uh, battery box actually... Uh, locks down properly and uh, this is gonna but well, it's all about the gun crutch at the moment and um, I'm tickling it in there nicely <clears throat> I might as I might paint the asbestos bit so we don't all die um, that's that bit there that's asbestos if I exported that technically I should take that off and throw it away yeah on a stool you have to take the head gasket off the brake pads and uh, one or two other bits because they've got asbestos in them, hey, if they're going to rush straight. Well, I've come out late, not because I'm a lazy bastard, but because I was painting till three in the morning. And I really don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. What are you doing? Why? Oh, I get you. You're going to get the symmetry out? Bloody hell. Yes. Oh, well, there so we go. So our bin box is on, and now we're putting our 
commander's phone thing back in. How cool is that? Oh, you're on my foot. So yes. It's looking nice. It's looking very, very nice. Now, um, um, now on uh, my battery hatch over there, um, I managed to shear not only the handle off, <laughs> right? Um, I managed to shear the bolt off as well, and it goes in there. But um, with a little bit grindy, grindy, at least now it'll actually bloody work. And it should go around that way, and then that go on. Then you can lock it so no one can nick your batteries. Well, my tack looks nice, very nice. It's laid into that groove beautifully. And, and I'll be the first to admit that's more luck. Well, um, what's amazing me is the handle is cast and the spindle is made out of mild steel. And that should be dissimilar metals and that shouldn't work very well. Although they won't. And uh, while I'm doing it, there's a nasty casting line there that somebody didn't um, grind out in the factory. So we'll get, uh, there's a pit there. So I'm going to make it better than the original. I can tell no one's been borrowing my drill. Look at that, look. Absolutely beautiful. I've never seen better. I still got to do the front rocket, but um, yeah, really, really nice. Okay, the paint's more or less dry, and the trick now is to go around the whole thing with a bit of sandpaper and a blade. And if you've got a bit where there was a run, just scrape it out, just like that, with your sand, with your uh, your blade. Things are progressing on our beautiful Abbott. A little bit of filler here and there. That's where they welded the towing eyes at 45 degrees years ago. Tiny little dents on there. And now I'm doing a mini slip. Tripods will rub down now. Um, a tricky thing to spray. Uh, basically, you spray it one way, then you leave it half an hour or an hour, then you roll it over. Uh, it's easy throwing the paint on. If you can piss, you can. I'm getting rid of this old skanky canvas so that I can um, spray this back box. A couple of handfuls of sand, mix it all up, and you'll get a nice kind of. Um... Yeah, that's a bit more like it. Well, things were going so well, and we're just detailing the back door. Look at that, original trim. And, uh, and then suddenly, if you look very carefully, we've got snow blowing through the eaves of the barn. So I've kind of got everything green. Mike, everything. would you like to do our reveal? Yes. Okay, underneath that battery. Ah. Lift the battery. Yes. What the uh, socket set was doing there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now underneath the socket set. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck to the ground outside. In the daylight, there'll be areas that have not been done properly. Um, when you get it out in the daylight, it all shows. Um, a Don 10 reel, that'd be lovely. Let's go and look for one. Put these things on. I've done very little today. This will be my bit of, um, 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 how can I say, heroin. Can I say that? 
but you've got to have a little bit of what you love. That's what you get on every good bike. Yeah, it's funny old paint. It's a non-corrosive stuff, which is great, but it stays soft for a little while. But no, that's okay, no fingerprints on that. <laughs> People put that round the wrong way. Yeah, you'd have to be. Yeah, you'd have to be an idiot to do that, wouldn't you? You'd have to be an idiot. Yeah. Familiar with these, but you've all seen them, haven't you? What are you doing? You can't do that. You can't break them. Polycarbonate. You can shoot that with a shotgun at five foot, twelve bore, and you can get the biggest man you like to hit that with a sledgehammer, and he will not damage it. It will still go in. You can drive a four three two over that oh, I don't want to scratch it but we could put one under the shine on them and the perfect colours I've had glass ones where the orange one is nearly red and the red ones are nearly orange but look at that when you start masking up the little tabs and the brass things it means you really want to be an antique dealer it's a bit sad really isn't it it's a bit anorakish but there you go the most important box on the whole tank this is where the crew picks their sandwiches well, I was actually for putting fuel in. I was going to give everyone a line of bullshit, but no. It opens out and it's a great big thing that you can just chuck a jerry can in on, a jerry can in on its corner. And um, then there's a pipe. that fuel tank when it's gone. It's really good for hanging things on that I'm spraying. Well, with messing around with that chieftain, I kind of um, haven't touched the abbot for a little while and uh, that, that gives me rejoral symptoms. So, uh, what's next? Look at that, hey. I'll be sorry when this fuel tank's gone. It's been extremely good for um, balancing things on, for spraying. The Abbott's coming along and some of the last bits is the Bren gun mount that goes on the top. And I'll give that a bit of a rubbing down. So you're going to have to cover the, uh, the brass tag. That'll look lovely. And, um... Woman, it's Saturday night. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Night out, clubbing, anything like that? You know what she said? She said, no, let's go out in this workshop and have a go on your rabbit and let's sort that out so I can just finish it off. And I was surprised and she was talking about my gun mount. She wants to uh, get this gun mount up front on the sprockets and then we'll think about anywhere it looks a bit dry. Oh, and I've got to put the periscopes for the commander in the turret. Right, let's crack on. How's it going, sweetums? Yeah, good. Do you know, interestingly, I, I actually did wonder how you managed to get that, and now I realise. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Is that when you fell off and hurt yourself? Mm-hmm. You thought, how does he get that non-slip surface, and why the fuck doesn't he get that non-slip surface? <laughs> Darling, I love your enthusiasm, but when you say working on an abbot's better than sex, I'm not sure how I'll take that. I literally get back am. back into it. Wear it in. Wear it in. Looking good. Now, when we're going down the street with a Bren gun for Jackson to hold... That revolves fine. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well done, sweetie. Go a bit over to that side. Right, now that's it. Stop, stop, stop. So, here we go on the beauty. Now, um, 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 I can look back on my phone and know which phone I'll be taking out, rattle a few out, and then probably increase the size of the holes on these and then give them a coat of green paint and uh, it'll all blend in lovely with all the other clobber. It's all about Patina. Patina. I used to go out with a girl called Patina and uh, she was a bit uh, wrinkly too. Look at that look, ain't eh? it lovely, isn't it lovely? Now do we paint it or do we do it in linseed oil? Linseed. If you do it in linseed oil, it'll be better when you're playing cricket. Yeah, 